Hi, I'm Ben Perkins, Vice President of Health Strategies for the American Heart Association, and this is my dear baby, Cody. As part of the Health Strategies team, I work to identify the needs of our community and to figure out where the American Heart Association can make a difference. This year has been unlike any other we've faced with the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic. As many of you know, those fighting heart disease and stroke are more susceptible to coronavirus and are more likely to develop severe symptoms. That's why the American Heart Association is working with researchers, medical experts, community leaders, businesses, and families, and more to reduce the impact of the coronavirus. This includes things like investigating the cardiovascular implications of coronavirus, accelerating antiviral drugs to combat COVID-19, and teaching hospitals and communities how to administer life-saving CPR. Because of your support, we're helping to keep heart disease and stroke patients healthy and safe. Now here is a message of thanks from our family to yours. I'm Jay Blackwell, Executive Director of the American Heart Association here in Greater Boston. On behalf of myself and the whole Heart Association team, I just want to say a deep thank you to Teddy, to Heidi, uh, and to the whole Teddy's team family for all of the work you have done over the decades uh, to fundraise, to get the message out, to save lives. Like many of you, I am a heart disease survivor. I had a heart attack in 2016 while in Chicago working out with my trainer at the gym. But thankfully, because of fundraising done in the early 2000s, a young investigator here in Boston was doing work around drug-coated stents, and myself and many other thousands of Americans have this very simple procedure now, thanks to many of you who were raising funds back in that day. As you get ready to lace up and do your run, know that we've got your back. Dig deep, run hard, run strong, and from all of us, thank you.